So I've got a list of data here and what I want to do is find out which of my courses and you can see I've got the course, the date, the software level location and the number of attendees. But it's a number of attendees. I want to see which of these are above average. Now this works the same whether you're using a Windows PC or a Mac. I'm using a Windows PC here but it does work exactly the same. So the first thing I need to do is click here inside my data in this list. I now need to go to my data tab across the top so I'm in my data ribbon and over here I'm still clicked inside my data set. I'm going to click on filter. And when I do, I now get my drop down arrows that allow me to do my filtering. And if you haven't seen about filtering, I do have another tutorial for that. I've got another one I think called top 10 as well. Links for that are below. So what I want to do is I want to know the above average number of attendees. I'm going to click here on this drop down. I'm going to choose number of filters. And you can see it's right here above average and there's one for below average as well. Let's click on above average and see what happens. And there you go. I can now see my courses that have got above average in terms of the number of attendees. Really useful. I can look at this and think, OK, there are courses that are good and should keep going with those. I could also clicking back here on this list, go to number filters and choose below average and I can see some that maybe aren't performing so well and I can have a look at what needs to be done there. So that is how you can use above average and below average using your filter in Excel. If you like this, do like the video, subscribe and share and come back. And don't forget I've got plenty more Excel videos, tutorials on Word, PowerPoint, Access, also some on photography and video too. Thanks for watching and see you soon.